Hey guys, it's Tim McCamus back here in the shop to uh, introduce you to a new product that we have been working on for quite some time. But by around 2014 or so, we designed and introduced some components that would take the pedals in a race car to a, another level, which was, was making them adjustable. We ran into several issues with driver changes, cars sold, you know, you end up, you, pedals wouldn't reach or they were too close, they were too far away you'd end up having to cut the car apart and reposition the pedals. Um, it was a huge mess and it never looked quite right when you have to go in and destroy that area of the car to uh, reposition. So, so we decided to make it uh, adjustable and we have this little rail system and uh, it, it's worked phenomenal. We have, we have sold hundreds and hundreds of these kits. They're really a huge benefit. During that process, we had some ideas on how we could move away from the traditional 4130 fabricated round tube pedal system, which has been standard in these cars forever, into an aluminum uh, machined pedal, which is what is in front of you today. We started working on this and, you know, it ended up kind of being a side project where we would work on it, put it aside, work on it. And it took us a while to get through um, the whole process. There was an extreme amount of time that was invested in it that we really didn't understand until we started trying to figure out how to make this. Number one, make it look right, make it designed right so that it functions properly and was still um, somewhat adaptable to a wide variety of, of cars so that it would be useful in not just one particular car. So we design, we redesign, we redesign on top of that. and. We have been doing 3D printing for, for quite some time. And so that was very useful in this process because we were able to um, design these pedals in our CAD system. And with the, the newest software we have, we can actually uh, load test and stress test and put different loads on different parts of the, of the pedal assembly and the beam and the pad. And, and we can actually simulate it like it's in the car and see where um, different loads and stresses are. So we can then change the design process and, and make the pedals as light as possible, but stronger than the 4130 standard pedals were. So what you see here is what we've come up with uh, so far. And um, we will, just like everything else we do, we'll continue to refine it over time, but it's, it's pretty damn good the way it is right now. Um, we've got all the different configurations uh, taken care of, so we can do standard gas pedal, which is what you see here. Uh, which would work like on a, um, an EFI naturally aspirated car or a carbureted car. Um, so you're going to have a throttle rod hooked to this. So this is, this is all standard and they all have a tow return on them. Um, the cable operated pedal, which is what we like to use in, a, in any type of blown car, pro charger car, anything with a supercharger or turbo car, anything that you want a standard cable operated foot pedal with. So that one took the most time because it had the most parts and the most machining and it was really complicated to come up with that process but so we used a combination of our 3d printing our cnc machining our anodizing all that stuff to make this pedal kit and it is really really nice so some of the features that we, we incorporated so all of the pe um, pedals have what we would call like a traditional pad where in the uh, in the 4130 kits, you would have like a mesh wire or some kind of non-slip surface, or if they were titanium, we would use like a grip type surface tape on them. But we wanted to get away from that. And, and so with our printing process, our newest printers can actually um, produce a uh, flexible material. So each of these have um, a pad that's gonna snap into the receiver here. So, so this, this beam here will work for the clutch or the brake, but the, the pad itself has these little tabs are um, produced in the part as we make it. And then the, the, uh, this receiver part of the pedal has got a, an undercut in it so that they'll snap in. So it's clearance for the bolts. Now, one thing is, is these are adjustable. So we made this pad where um, it's giving you some options here with some other holes where you can move this up and down to get the feel just right for the pedal. And then this pad will snap in and lock in like you see in these uh, pedals here. And so they're already uh, clearanced for the bolt heads. Um, they're very nice. They have uh, somewhat of a medium dense feel to them. So they, they feel really good when you push on them. So they don't feel hard like the, uh, like the old type pedals were. Because a lot of times the, 
the racing uh, type shoes and, and boots stuff, they're real thin on the bottom. They don't have much of a, a bottom sole in them. So when you push down on the brake pedal or the gas pedal, they, they feel very hard. And if that pad has much of a curve to it, it's not very comfortable. These are really comfortable. So even the uh, cable operated pedal has this pad, which goes in here. So you can actually see it in this pedal here. So really cool stuff. This is a very neat product. And um, this is just uh, something that we've been able to do in the last couple of years. So very nice. Uh, the, the kits come um, complete. So they, they can be, um, so this is obviously a raw version here. And um, we're going to make these available in, in, a, uh, in just a machined raw aluminum. Uh, just for the simple fact of the cost is going to be less because the, the anodizing, um, th these pedals that are anodized have a multi-step process. So we have to um, machine this and then we have to, we have to finish it to a certain uh, degree to get the anodizing to look right. And then when they come back, they go back into a special fixture that we made that is, it's like a poly type fixture that protects the part from being scratched. And then we remachine it all and we, we cut the clearances on the edge and we do all the engraving that you can see in the middle here and around. This is all done after the anodizing to give it a really nice finished look. So you can buy them in this black anodized version or you can buy them in the raw version and then you can either anodize them yourself or polish them or, or do whatever you want to that finish. They, they go together. They are direct replacement for the pedal kits that we already have. The kit's going to come with the tab, so instead of a tube welded to another tube for like the brake pedal, you're going to have two tabs that are going to weld to that receiver slip tube that slides over the main pedal shaft. And then that's going to locate into these three bolts, and you can see this in more detail here. When you get them, you can position this pedal anywhere along this tube that you want. So like this particular setup here would be like uh, a naturally aspirated car. Um, with a brake pedal only, no clutch. The only thing different on um, what I say was direct replacement was if you've got a car that's already got a clutch pedal in it, the old 4130 clutch pedals, the tube was at a slight angle so that this particular mount here could be over a little farther and get the clutch pedal pad over. So it, um, it may require some change uh, on this end just to get the room so we can get the pedals farther apart because we wanted to to be straight. We didn't want this to be an angled pedal because it just didn't look right. But other than that, if you already have this system in your car and it's just a brake and, and a throttle pedal, you can fit you can fit everything here into that existing spot and just change over to the billet set. So the weight is going to be the same. It took us a lot of time to get the weight down to the same as that 4130 pedal. So we knew from the start that we weren't going to be able to make it lighter just because of the design. We had to incorporate a lot of different things into it, um, which was really tough because there's a lot going on here. Um, the, the tubular pedals are very thin, very lightweight, so it took a lot of extra machining to get these down. And if you look at them, the, some of the beam structure and stuff is, is kind of a strange cut because we kept going in and we wanted to relieve as much material as we could but with our software, we could go back in and test that and see that it had um, good functionality and no, um, the, the stress on it was not going to deflect the beam. So if you do this, like this, this particular set here has got both of these have the adjustable kit on them. And then um, that's available anodized also. So you can get the whole kit. So like if, you, if you're building a new car and you want to put some really trick pedals in it, um, you can buy this whole kit now black anodized with the highlighted uh, machining on it and it comes just like you see it here or here. So the only thing you will have to do is this uh, particular tube here is going to be 4130 and it will have the tabs welded on it so it will need to be finished. Um, then this one is black powder coated. Um, it can be painted, it can be a multitude of things but uh, it looks better if it's blacked out too. So uh, these kits come complete with all the hardware. They come ready to drop in. They are um, very, very well thought out. Even even something like this pedal here, like I said, they all have the toe returns on them. And this this pedal here, this was a little bit of a, a feat to do, but uh, we wanted to make this adjustable. So when you put this in the car, like if it's a uh, 4130 kit, this this tube here that pivots on is um, it's not welded solid to the pedal. It's made to be adjustable so that 
if you're sitting in the car, you can tilt the pedal like it's more, the pedal straight up and down is not that comfortable. It needs to lay over just slightly. So we made this mount adjustable so that you can pivot this pedal how you want it and then lock it down in place and then it will stay right there. So kind of really cool and it, it incorporates the heel pad and obviously your, your cable is going to hook up here. Uh, so you got a selection of holes here to, to adjust the, the uh, throw of the cable like you want it. So we are in the process now. All the parts are made, uh, all the stuff's anodized, and it's ready to assemble on your next ride. So if you want to change it up, freshen up your pedals, or you're building a new car and you want to put some really cool stuff in it, um, these are phenomenal. And uh, the quality on them is like nothing you're going to see. So uh, if you have any questions, send us an email, give us a call, um, check it out, and I'm sure you'll be happy with it. So thanks for watching.